Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph of this graphic that somebody designed with a protractor. And I've already done a couple in Corel. Uh, pretty cool. The way they look, very easily done in Corel. We're going to take a polygon and set it on six sides and, and do it like hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then we're going to go to effects in contour. We're going to contour the inside 0.05 or 0 0.03, we don't have to, but we're gonna go and break the contour apart because we need to be able to cut those lines later. Now we need to figure out what one of these legs length is. So we're gonna use the parallel dimension tool and we're gonna go from that node to that node and you see we have 0 0.80. So we're gonna draw an ellipse that is 0 0.80 and we're gonna put it on that inside corner of that polygon on the node, I made I hit the plus key on the keyboard. So we're making copies of it. Instead of using the control D that would move it out of the way, I'm just hitting the plus key and then moving it to where I need to be. If, if I use that one moved. So you can see how all the lines are touching. Now we need to figure out what size circle we need for the outside, probably the easiest way instead of guessing, let's get the parallel dimension tool and let's go from about that edge to that edge and we need 2.41. So we'll delete that. Now let's draw an ellipse that is 2.41. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now we can start deleting lines. You could delete them all the way around and color them in, but there's a, you could rotate them. So let's get the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. And I'm a little bit too, my circle is a little bit too big. So we're going to make it 121.8. Whoop. 119.8. So those lines will be closer and let's see if it does it. Nope, still too little. So grab our circle again and make it 119.6. Take a virtual segment delete key and delete these lines and it's making that shape. So now what we can do is take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Double click on the rotation to put it in the center. It doesn't look like it is. And it's not. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's pretty good. Now we're going to control D and make a duplicate of that. And we're going to rotate it 72 degrees. Why didn't that work? Oh, 60 degrees. So let's rotate it 60 degrees. Control D and make a duplicate and rotate it 120 degrees. Oh, I know what I did different. I, earlier I made a five solid polygon. This time I'm doing a six sided. There's where I came up with my And then, well, what, probably the best thing to do is, let's see how big this thing is. It's a, let's set our nudge factor on three. Let's just nudge these blocks out of the way. So it's a totally different design now. We can get rid of the, the lines and we can nudge these right back. <clears throat> and then we can, two ways you could do this. You could just change the colors I'm actually thinking this will be pretty cool. Almost good that I made that mistake. Of course, you probably wouldn't want those two colors together, but that's beside the point. So you have totally different looks. Now, the other thing we can do is put a circle in there. So what we can do, since we don't have any lines, we can left click, right click, and we can take a circle, an ellipse, 
put it in the center of the page and then hold down the control button to get it more in the center. We're gonna control D and duplicate it. We're gonna move the center of rotation. And you could have done this at first and saved a few steps and rotate this 60 degrees. Control D. For some reason, my control D is not continuing around like it doesn't, like it's skipping off something else. There we go. Anyway, then you could take the Smart Fill tool on different color. You could do all the same color, but move that out of the way, change your color. Whoop, got a little leak right there. It's funny how sometimes it'll leak on one spot and won't leak on the other. Let's see what happens when we come around. Yep, see those two don't leak, so we're good to go. I can't remember what colors I have. We can always move this out of the way. We haven't picked yellow yet. See, now it doesn't leak for some reason, so now we can, let's just use a light blue. So you got a total different look. Um, one other thing you could do is you could take away all the circles Whoop. I encompass one whole part of the of the teardrop or whatever you want to call this. And we can make it look totally different by taking the smart field tool. See, there's a leak again. Take a smart field tool and let's nudge it up. And let's go contour. Let's left click, right click, contour the inside this time, say 0.1. Then take, you don't have to break it apart, take the contour, or take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Pretty good look. Control D and make a duplicate. Move the center rotation to the center. I didn't quite get it. Sometimes it's easier to come off of it and come back. There we go. Rotate it 60 degrees. And you could you know, keep the same color and then always change the color again. Make that 120 degrees. You know, for some reason, my control D is messing up. Then you could do anything you want. What well, another thing would be cool to take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Take away your lines. Whoop, I took away the color. Take away the lines and you got a totally different look. Pretty interesting to play around with, and another thing you could do is take the Smart Fill tool on a different color and do the outside of the item, and you could change the color every time. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.